A Georgia family is mourning the loss of a Marine killed during a training exercise. The MarineCorpsTimes.com reports that it happened in 29 Palms in early October. His family says Jonathan Barnett was supposed to be on a training mission that would last just a couple of weeks. Michelle Heron spoke to the family in Georgia and has more on what happened. He decided that he wanted to go in the military and it was one of the scariest days of my life knowing that he was going, but he, he made us proud. Tara Wheat holds a picture of Jonathan Barnett. The 24-year-old married her sister Savannah earlier this year, promising to adopt her daughter Kinley. And I hadn't had anybody in my whole life that loved me and showed me what love was like he did and loved my baby just like she was his, you know, she was his. Barnett joined the U.S. Marine Corps four years ago. He was stationed in North Carolina, but was most recently on a training mission in California. They come Monday and let us know that there had been an incident and that he didn't make it out in the training exercise during a dry fire exercise um, with no brass and there was, like I said, an incident, an accident. Not sure. We don't know till the investigation's complete. Documents from the Marine Corps provided by Barnett's family state Barnett was shot in the chest during a dry fire rehearsal training. For some reason, he was not wearing personal protective equipment at the time, leaving his family with more questions than answers. And there's an hour and a half, an hour and 13 minutes there unexplained to us, unexplained what happened, unexplained whether or not he had last words, whether or not they were, he, he was dead and they was trying to bring him back or what, you know. So many questions run through our minds. While they wait for those answers, the family tries to focus on supporting each other and Barnett's unborn child. Over the weekend, Savannah found out she's having a little boy and decided to name him Jonathan Franklin Barnett after his father. We plan on doing everything we can to make sure the baby knows him as well as, as he could have. My kid was a human being. He was somebody. And to me, it just feels like the Marines are just saying he's just another Marine. That was Michelle Heron reporting. We've reached out to 29 Palms Base for a comment and have yet to receive a response.